how to speak fluently in public, on the stage or in front of a camera like this. Engaging your audience all the way until the end with the message that you want to deliver to them. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the show. This is Kion here. I'm a filmmaker as well as a content creator. In today's episode, I'm going to talk about speaking. How to speak fluently in front of camera or in front of public, delivering the message that you want to deliver, whether it could be a sales speech to your client or a message to your social media followers. How can you do that fluently? So throughout this video, you'll discover the steps which is very crucial and essential that I personally use in my public speaking, in talking in front of camera like this, without using any script, all right? I'm not on a prompter. I don't read scripts while I'm on the stage or presenting my presentation, doing a pitch to my clients. I don't do that, all right? What are the crucial and most essential ways to do all this? Be sure to stay until the end of the video and you'll discover all my very useful tips and tricks that I personally use in my videoing process. So tip number one, in order to deliver a smooth and fluent speech, first of all, you need to plan out your entire message structure or your speech structure, right? What is in the introduction, right? Like just what I did, introducing myself, who am I? I'm a filmmaker, etc., etc. content creator. And then what is the content? What is the body that you want to deliver? Make sure the message is clear and give an expectation to your audience. What is the takeaway that they will be able to get at the end of your presentation or at the end of the video, all right? And then what is the closing like? So you have to have a very clear structure in your head or you can write it down and then try to remember it, okay? But in the very first place, if you're not that fluent, it takes a little bit of time and practice in order to actually memorize this structure. But it is a muscle memory that along the way, you do it so often, this structure will actually stick in your head and you will be easily delivering your speech. Just like what I'm doing now. I'm doing this without a script. It's just that I have my structure from the start until the end, what I want to say, what are the key points, and then I just deliver those key points along the line with my own words. Number two, aside from having a clear message structure, in order to sound engaging, you need to practice the way you deliver the speech. The way you deliver the speech is one of the most important elements in public speaking. The body language, the tone of your voice, up and down, loud and soft. You need to have a good control over this kind of little, little elements. Now, I'm very sure one thing that you won't expect to see someone giving a speech to you like this, hey, Hey everybody, hey, hey everybody, what's up? This is Kion here. Today I'm gonna to share with you how you can speak to your audience in a much more engaged manner and how you can engage them so that they watch your video. Now that really doesn't sound really engaging, doesn't it? So this is how you need to practice, all right? And some of the basic to practice your speech is to first practice to speak fast rather than speaking like, hi, this is Kion's here. I am going to share you. But rather, hi, this is Kion's here. Today I'm going to share with you. That sounds much more energetic. And number two, train your speaking with hand movements like this, all right? Rather than having this, hey guys, this is Kion's here. Today I'm going to share with you something, 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 blah, 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 blah. Right? The energy is there, but it's not animated, right? The fact that you are watching this or someone who are watching you on the video or whether it's on stage, whether it's in the public, they're watching your performance, right? You are one of the performer. And this is something that you may not know. In film psychology, our eyes are not meant to look at something which hold on static and still for too long. So we are more prone to look at something which is, has movements, right? More animated so that it will actually keep our eyes entertained. So be sure to practice your speech with speed and then comes with hand. And tip number three is to watch and see. Observe speakers who you think is engaging and try to pick up their way of delivering their message. How do they speak? Where are those pause points, right? When they raise their voice, when they put down their voice. 
And my advice is this, do not only look at one speaker, look at a few different, different engaging speakers and try those kind of styles. And I'm very, very sure in a matter of time, as you speak, as you keep going and practicing, you will develop your very own way, method and style to speak, which is engaging in your very own way. And tip number four will be, if you are just starting up as a fresh new speaker, have completely no experience in speaking in public or whatsoever it is, how you can make your speech more fluent is practice, 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 rehearsals, rehearsals, rehearsals. Think of it as a stand-up comedian. If you see a stand-up comedian performing their stand-up so funny, right? Every single word they say hit the point and really make the entire audience laugh. Those are no coincidence, right? They rehearsed it again and again and again. They keep rehearsing with styles, with gestures, with body language. That will give you a much more engaging speech delivery. Trust me on that because each and every time I have a very important presentation to, or a public speaking to be done and I have a very important message to actually deliver to my audience, I will rehearse, right? Not all the time I can speak spontaneously like this in front of camera because in front of camera, I can afford to make mistake because, on, because in front of camera, because in front of camera, I can on So, but in order, so that can be edited off. But in order for you to be on stage, which is live, make sure you have enough practice, rehearsals, and make sure you rehearse with body language, with your styles, with your tone of voice. That will really give you an edge to present and speak really well in front of your broad audience, all right? And that comes to tip number five. If you are doing a public speaking in front of a mass audience on a stage, all right, not like a camera like this, you will experience some other different thing which is stage fright. Stage fright is something everybody has. I do have it as well. Even the crowd is small, less than 10 people, I still do have that stage fright. Now, how do I overcome that? The first five to 10 minutes is the very crucial timing for you to warm yourself up in order to get rid of that stage fright. Then you are all right. So how to get rid of the stage fright? First and foremost, when you step on stage, well, these days, probably a virtual event in front of your computer or something, ask questions, get response, have a two-way communications with your audience so that you feel that rather than you being there as a speaker and someone listening to you, it's now you sharing experience, communicating with your audience. All right, that's a very crucial step. And I find this particular trick very, very useful for me as a speaker. When I step on stage, first of all, I ask everybody like, hey, how many of you guys wanted to blah, 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 blah. And how many of you guys here are involved in blah, 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 all right? And these people will raise up their hands and then probably you can just pick one or two of them say, how long have you been in this situation? So it's like a two-way communication. Once you establish that two-way communication, it's just like talking to a friend. So once you have that talking to a friend mode, and once you get into that mode, you will feel much, much more relief and your stage fright will be going off, all right? So that is very, very useful. Try that each time when you start a presentation, even if it's as serious as a board meeting, all right? try to throw out some questions to some of the board, right? It could be something like, hey, Mr. So-and-so, do you think that if we have a situation like this, this will be a better solution? And then carry on with, so today I'm gonna to present you what me and my team think it's very suitable for the solution of this kind of problem. Since you think so, everybody thinks so, let's begin. See, so even at a serious board meeting, you can trigger some of these questions and make sure there is communication rather than you being stressful and anxious about what are the outcomes like. These are all big bosses. All right, so these are some of the very crucial and very useful tips for you to speak better, being more engaging and being more fluent in your public speaking, whether it is for your speaking in public or on stage or in front of the camera, delivering speech or messages like this through your videos. So what about the fear of cameras? 
I know that there are certain people when they face cameras, when the record button is going on, they really freaked out and they really feel awkward about facing camera, or talking in front of camera. How to overcome that, right? For that, I've done a very special video on how you can overcome camera fears. Do find the video in the link described in the video description below, as well as the card up here. Check that out and I'm sure you will get a very, very good insights and tips on how to overcome the camera fears. All right, so guys, I hope that you find really great value in this video. If you find great value in this video, do feel free to click the share button and share this to more people that needs to see this. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button as well as follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I also have a Telegram group. Be sure to join that Telegram group as well. The link is somewhere around the video description. So each and every time I upload a new video, you will be first-hand notified and you won't miss out. So that's all for now. This is Kion here and hope to see you in the next video.